Or the we're gonna get the Sheik. Yeah, not taking any chances. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the Sheik's a liability just because you can't find KOs sometimes. Still, I mean. I don't know. The one time I played Nam in bracket, it made me never want to fight Nam again. That's how good he is sometimes. Like, yeah. You just can't do anything. Pick Ryu and up tilt furiously, and you win, right? I don't know. He's tweeting out that he was figuring out that matchup. Three, it's you run away. One. It's probably run away in needles. Yeah. Crawling across the stage. He's slinking across. I like it. Speaking of running away and charging. Ooh, good roll away. These two are just poking at each other ever so slightly. Jerpumple only finding pokes on shield. Arc Thunder. The spot dodges. Yeah, spot dodges apparently. Just this just. I think didn't. it's because the where the Arc Thunder was kind of positioned. It might have something to do with like Sheik's shield size and, and um. Not, not only that, she's a fast faller. Right. She kind of falls out of it real good. Real good. <laughs> Real well. Real, real skinny privilege. Sheik is not big. All right, and the one, two, three jab coming out from Trapumple. She's got this even right now. I mean, pretty much. You're gonna get hit by her own sword, though. It's still pretty close, yeah. all things considering. Oof. Ooh, that was. That was scary. That vanish is gonna do it. Nice fight for Nam. That Vanish kills nice and early, honestly. It's one of Sheik's very few kill options. It's not, like, super good, though. It's not super they, good, Now they took away, like, the 50-50 the, the stuff. But it's still a kill option like yes. that. Especially when they're being aggressive at ledge like that. Was, when was that Shrapumple just coming back? Shrapumple was coming back, right. and she came back with a forward air. Mm -hmm. So she got Vanish for it. Oh, great duck from Nam. I guess that's one answer to that arc thunder. Just play a character with a crouch like that. Good character. Trying Ooh. to get the dare. Got the phantom footstool instead. Yep. Well, just standing there. This this movement from Nam, that's crisp. He's. Ooh, the back throw? Oh. Almost. Trying to use that neutral air. Not quite going to find it. So, everything. Like, Nam has just been racking up a lead. And Sheik, either you rack up a leader or you don't. Whoa, no way. Trying to find a grab there, not gonna find it. Grab, trying to get the vanish. And the backer is gonna finally find the KO for Trapumple. Just ran up and waited. It's like, you're gonna do an option. You spot dodge, good job for the right before it. Ooh, got the 11 in hand. Now I'm just going to get that fair. And that's going to do it. Yep, that's going to do it. Just get killed by Lemon Sword. I think so. Wow. Constable Lemon in the house. Let's go. Oh boy, it's Maloney's Lemon. <sighs> All right, so game number two. Are we going to get the Nam off of, like, He's deselected. He might just be taking uh, a breather. Oh, it looks like he's maybe going to the bail. Gross. Hey, man. He's trying to pick it up. Uh, he's been putting a lot of work into it. I mean, I got this at this point. Why wouldn't you? I mean, she's super good. I mean, and we're going to Lilat. This is typically a bail. I don't know. I've seen him play it on with Sheik a few, a few times. Let's just say that. A lot of times. At this point in the meta, why not pick up Bayo? Right? And trying to land with that dare. This Bayo is not looking quite as good. It's got to get maybe a little warmed up, but now it looks looking pretty good. As soon as I said it's not looking quite as good as the Sheik, it's, it's starting to look better. Yeah. Okay, was a better character. I mean, but the character that you put years of a work into versus the character you're just picking up? Oh. Oh. Yeah. The character you just picked up. Never mind. The character you just picked up is doing... Significantly better than the character we've been looking at for years. It's just, it's not, I don't know, like, Bayo is so good, and I think it works well with Nam style. Because he has, like, all of that advanced movement tech, which means he has excellent fake outs. Uh, and he's great at micro spacing, which can really help Bayo start those combos.
going in there with that kind of raw fare. I mean, Nam was jumping a lot. Yeah. So. I know that's how Nam dies quite a bit. Is you just you call out his short hop. Ooh, just the L Thunder coming out instead of the Arc Thunder. Which time? Puppy. Another one. Just gets a little bit of damage there. And Trapumpo getting this Arc Thunder charged up, and uh, the missing. bat's not really helping her, uh, helping Nam out too much there. Missing a punish on the, the Arc Thunder. Mm -hmm. Trapumpo coming on back. Nice. The dropping of the sword forces Nam off stage. That was some nice coverage. That was that was planned. I can tell. Probably. And got the book. Let's see, see if we can drop some knowledge on them. We're gonna drop knowledge on them directly. Yeah. All right, gonna toss that knowledge away. Uh, Lila. Excuse that, me. That that angle though. What a bad stage. That was a double witch time. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's why you flung so fast. The bear coming out. Up B. Not going to be able to connect with a side B at these percents. And. Ooh. Now I'm using that uh, Bats within pretty effectively. Taking the 1%. Okay, so it's official. The Bayonetta did worse than the, the Sheik. I guess. Sheik didn't take any damage on the second stock. Uh. All right, and now, now I'm going to get this forward throw. Oh, not quite enough. Throwing away the, the Elf Thunder there. And going to get that Nosferatu, get a little bit of heal back. Had that been to the back, would have done more, but that up here is going to clean it up. So two out and um, uh, one with Sheik, one with Bayo. The Bayo's real. The witch is coming. Yeah. So the reason why I'm...